Hey, what's up, nation? As you guys can see, I'm back in my house right now. I was just traveling. I was in Ireland for the past week, and I get a really cool video topic I want to discuss with you guys today, but I have a few announcements first, so we'll just put that off to the side and get through these announcements. So number one, yes, I was in Ireland for a week, and a lot of you guys have been asking me for the Ireland footage. I will be working on it. Um, I just haven't had a chance to edit that video yet because with this being month two of my 12-week transformation challenge, obviously the beginning of February, I had to get the next three home workouts ready and up loaded to YouTube and my website. So a lot of you guys already watched Lower Body 2, which was a freaking, <laughs> I wanted to die halfway through that workout. For those of you who watched it, you know exactly what I mean. It's really intense. If you haven't seen it yet, make sure you click that link down at the info sec in the info section below or at the end of this video. But it's a really intense workout, and what's so great about these is they're done in real time. I think it makes a big difference when I do the actual workouts with you guys, as opposed to just saying, here's your workout, here are the exercises, and then the video is over in like three minutes. You know what I mean? I think it really helps, even whether you're doing my workout or not, I just feel like it really helps with like inspiration to get you guys to want to go crush your workouts at the gym, because I always give my workouts everything I've got. And I've actually, you know, been really happy with being able to show, to utilize that and showcase that in my new videos that I've been doing, which are my cheat and recover vlogs. So for those of you guys who've been watching those, you've been enjoying those, You've been seeing, you know, kind of what I've been doing in the gym and how I've been changing my training and actually really changing my me my mentality and my approach to training, you know, coming down from where I was being such a form Nazi to incorporating, you know, eight repetitions of using momentum and cheating and focusing on struggling super hard with the eccentric portion of the movements to really overload my muscles. And then as soon as I finish the cheat set, which is eight repetitions, I go into the recover set, which is equal focus on the concentric and eccentric portions of the movement. And I feel phenomenal. Like I feel like I used to feel when I was a lot younger and I didn't really know as much as I do now about training, but I just attacked the weights as hot as I could every single day. My form was probably crap, but it didn't matter to me. I just focused on lifting heavy weights. So it's like now I take this knowledge that I have now and combine it with that mentality I used to have when I was a lot younger. It's like my workouts have been exploding. I've been feeling so much better. The pumps have been better. And I can just feel my muscles responding to it. Because at the end of the day, if you want to see growth, you have to place your muscles under a tremendous amount of load. And so that's what I've been doing. And that's kind of what this video is about. But I do have one more thing I want to share with you guys. You probably noticed in that lower body two uh, video that the quality was much better for the filming. It's because I got a new camera lens. This is the Sigma 18 by 35 millimeter um, lens and it goes all the way down to an f-stop of like 1.8 and for those of you guys who don't know what that means and I really didn't know what that meant either which is why my old lens sucks so much is that it just helps you to film I guess better in lower lighting uh, scenarios and what this lens also does too is it kind of blurs the background and makes the foreground look a lot more crisp and better and you guys probably noticed that in the lower body 2 workout because you could see like the sweat glistening off of me in the beginning of the video and I, I'm actually really happy with it because a lot of times I would go to the gym and I would do my vlogs and I don't know maybe mentally this is why I wasn't doing a lot of vlogging in the gym is like I would you know I'd look in the mirror and I'd get all pumped up and I'd flex and I'd feel amazing and then I would film myself with my camera and I feel like I would just look like shit, you know? And I'm like, what is wrong with this camera? What 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 settings am I messing up that is making me look so different in a in this lens than in this mirror over here? It was so frustrating. And then when Colossus Fitness came down, they had the same camera as me and they were showing me their lens and how much better it is and I just couldn't believe you know, what a difference it made. So that's why I bought it immediately. <laughs> and now I'm filming with that. So the next cheat and recover vlog you guys are going to see is um, is with this new lens. And actually the last one was the, with a new lens too when I was working out with Colossus. But it was a legs and traps workout. And this is the, the, the bulk of the video now, guys. So sorry for the, the bit of an intro, but I had to get through that stuff. So... When I posted a video a couple weeks ago about traps and training traps, um, I mentioned the upright row, one of my favorite exercises for hitting the traps. And a lot of people took that video the wrong way. 
because I said it's one of the most amazing exercises you can do for traps if done properly, and I do stand by that, and it is one of the most amazing, but a lot of you guys were referencing another YouTuber, Alpha Destiny, where he talks about, you know, doing um, really like above the knee rack pulls and different really heavy movements because traps only grow when you get a nice deep stretch on them and perform repetitions like that. And I definitely don't disagree, and I've actually went back and forth with him in the comment section discussing this, and I guess what I should have said in that video was, you know, the upright row is an amazing exercise, but I do it in my training, you know, towards the end. I always start off with a really heavy, you know, above the knee rack pull or a really heavy shrug, whatever I'm doing. I try to really overload the traps and use a bit of momentum on the way up and get that deep stretch at the bottom. And you guys are going to see that in my next vlog video. Now, I have been doing Cheat and Recover now for over a month with all my workouts. And before, I was actually doing... So now we're going to talk specifically about the trap training because that's where the unbearable pain is, guys. The pain is like all over through here right now. So I had been doing it on the Smith machine in the beginning. And I figured, you know, with the Smith machine, I'll be able to control the range of motion that the or the movement pattern that the barbell is going to move in and I can focus on just wrapping my wrist around the barbell and getting a getting a huge stretch like all the way at the bottom of the movement and then pulling it back up and the Smith machine will keep me in that throughout that range of motion and believe me I was getting really sore you know sore to the point to where like laying on my arm a certain way was really starting to bother me and then I went to Ireland and when I came back one of the first workouts I did was my legs and my my traps workout and the Smith machines are being used. So I'm like, ah, oh, whatever, I'll go do the barbell and I'll see if it's if it's better or if it's worse. And it's like a hundred times better. <laughs> Let's just get that out of the way. Doing the you know, above the rack knee pulls, I mean above the above the knee rack pulls is definitely way more intense, more muscles involved, and you definitely get a much better stretch doing it, you know, with the barbell and not on the Smith machine. So I'll probably never do that on the Smith machine ever again. But you know. When I would do my training before, because I was so strict with my range of motion and proper form, you know, I would do it, you know, with maybe 225 or 315, and I would go down and I would go up, and I would just really try and focus on pulling through the movement like this. I was never really getting sore in my traps. And, you know, for those of you guys who have been watching my videos, I always talk about, you know, when you guys mention my traps, like, yeah, traps have always been a really hard thing for me to see growth on and it's and I always kind of uh, thought it was genetics which is the reason why my traps weren't growing but I can tell you now that without a doubt the reason why my traps were never really growing is because I wasn't training them properly because when you first when you, you guys remember when you first started working out and you trained your muscles as hard as you can. I mean, it's really easy as dudes to train our chest and our biceps and our triceps and really push a lot of weight with those movements because mentally we want huge arms and a huge chest, so we're going to do it anyways, and it's really easy to spot on. And, you know, taking that mentality and bringing it to my trap training and putting, you know, 405 or over 400 pounds on the, the barbell and then wrapping my wrist and then shrugging it and using momentum and doing above the knee rack pulls for 10 to 12 repetitions, my, I feel like my traps have been so sore for the last literally almost four days now because they've never been trained properly. And I don't have pain in my neck like when I, when I turn my head this way or turn my head that way or do this or do that, I don't have pain in my neck. I have pain like in the actual trap muscles. Like you can feel the difference. The pain isn't here. It's, you know, it's here. It's right where it's supposed to be. So this leads me to believe that I just haven't been pushing those muscles as hard as I've been pushing all the other muscles in my body. And that's why they've been lagging behind. And I'm actually really excited about this. I mean, the pain sucks. It hurts. It hurts to lay down and it hurts to kind of lay on my shoulder. But I know that after I start doing this for, you know, two to three weeks, month max, that I'm still going to get sore in that area, but I'm not going to have this excruciating pain because now those muscles are going to be ready for the intense training that I'm bringing their way. But man, I'll tell you, it's, it really, really impacted my training so much. So we did, I did legs and traps and the next day I did back and biceps and I started off with, um, with deadlifts and just grabbing the barbell and doing a deadlift 
hurt so much in my traps because they were still so sore that I ended up, I managed to push through it. I was only able to get up to um, 455. The pain was just too much to deal with. It was actually really hindering my form. But then I went through my back workout and then I went through my bicep workout. And so I was fine on every bicep exercise I did, but then I started doing um, incline dumbbell curls, which is, and I'll show you guys real quick, when you're like leaning back like this, okay, and you have your arms out to the side, and you literally hold your arms like this, and go down and up, and your arms are out to the side like this, and like I did a set of those, and I started to feel tension in my neck, and then as soon as I finished doing the eight repetitions before the cheat, I had somebody spotting me, make sure I was getting the positives. I, I fought through the pain. As soon as I put the dumbbells down and I went to like stand up like this, like everything just hurt so bad. Like my workout was done. I just couldn't finish the workout. I was in too much pain. So I guess what I want you guys to know is if you're watching my videos and you're doing the cheat and recover method, okay, and you're pushing yourself as hard as you can, still, still utilizing proper form and, and range of motion, but just giving yourself a little help through bit, like a bit of momentum or having a spa to help you. If you guys are doing that and you're getting like incredibly, like insanely sore to the point to where it's affecting your other workouts, I just want you guys to know that it's probably gonna be normal until your body adapts to that level of intensity. And once it does, you'll be able to do the workouts and even train more intense because now the body knows what to expect and it's it's overcome those weaknesses by getting stronger. So I'll tell you what, it is. it was definitely the most unbearable pain for me for the last couple days, like even sleeping at night, I was having a really hard time going to sleep because every time I'd roll from side to side, it's like if I was laying on my back and I'd roll to the right, like the compression of my shoulder in like this, like it does, it doesn't hurt to bring my shoulders down, but to bring them up like that, that's where the pain would come in. So I would roll over and go like this, and I'd get pressure, and I'd try to roll the other way, and same thing would happen over here. Like it's just torture. It really sucked. But fight through the pain, and the gains will come, and it will get much easier. So, like I said, I'm really enjoying doing these cheat and recover vlogs with you guys, and I'm really enjoying doing these one-on-one -on -one videos like this too. Um, while I was away in Ireland, as I was going through comments and answering questions, um, I've actually been taking a lot of the questions that you guys have been asking and putting them in a document to start doing Q&A vlogs as well, which will be done right here. So I want you guys to make sure that when you're asking questions, especially at the things that you know can get quick answers, leave those down in the comment section below so that I can get to them and then help you guys out and continue to do more fun videos like this. And then, like I said, I'll be getting the Ireland footage done soon. And let me just say, when I was so surprised, so when I went to Ireland, guys, you know, I've never been to Ireland before. I didn't exactly know where I was going to be. We ended up staying in the Temple Bar area. And uh, a lot of people, I posted a photo of me, like, in front of this bar. And then <laughs> this old guy was, like, telling me that I looked like a, like a male model or something. And he was really buttering me up. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, wow you know, people in Ireland are really nice, you know? And then like five minutes later, he walks over to me asking me for money to buy to buy himself another beer. I was like, that's why he was giving me so many compliments. <laughs> he wanted money for booze. But anyways, aside from that, people in Ireland are super nice. But anyway, so the shoot that we did with BSN was in a gym right behind the hotel. And so after shooting there, I asked the manager if I could um, do a meet and greet because I posted that photo that on the first day and like so many of you guys were like, hey, can you do a meet and greet while you're here? And I tell you what, I didn't expect, you know, to have close to 30 people come within like 24 hours notice to this gym. And the meet and greet was at like two o'clock and a lot of people couldn't come because it was, they got, they obviously had to work till five and I couldn't do it after five because we had things we had to do. But it was just really so cool to be able to go to another country and meet you guys. Like, one of my favorite things to do is to meet you guys, and I only really get a chance to do that at like shows like the Arnold or the Olympia. I did go to um, Body Power one year. I went to the Fit Expo in Germany last year. That was really cool. But I really love meeting you guys when I go to these different countries. And I promise you, as long as you're on my Facebook page or my Instagram, I'll always post where I'm gonna be. And as long as you guys comment and say, hey, I'm from that, I'm from that area, can you do a meet and greet? 
I will do my best to set one up so I can say thank you to you guys personally for all the support that you've given me over the years. So I have to get out of here. I have to actually go to the gym and work out. Hope you guys are having a great week and a great weekend coming. And please do me a favor. Don't forget to hit that like button before you watch the next video because hitting that like button gives, you, gives me the support I need to keep making my videos. And it really helps with boosting the YouTube algorithms so that more videos get seen by more people. So please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.